the sky darkens, the wind shifts suddenly, and on the horizon appears a towering wall of cloud, slowly stretching across the landscape. This is the shelf cloud. A shelf cloud is a spectacular cloud formation that often signals the arrival of a thunderstorm. It is a low, horizontal formation that looks like a massive, ominous ledge beneath a storm cloud. At times, it resembles a giant wave rolling through the sky, ready to crash down upon the land. But how does such an awe-inspiring sight come to be? The secret lies in the dynamics of the thunderstorm itself. As warm, moist air is drawn upward into the storm, it cools and falls back down as rain. This descending precipitation drags cooler air with it, known as the downdraft. When that cooler air reaches the ground, it spreads rapidly outward. At that moment, it collides with the warm, moist air still being pulled into the storm cell. This collision creates a sharp boundary in the atmosphere. The warm air is forced upward, condenses, and forms a horizontal band of cloud, the shelf cloud. The cloud itself sits at the leading edge of the storm, marking the dividing line between two air masses, cold and warm, heavy and light. Although a shelf cloud looks dramatic, it is not a storm in itself. Rather, it is a visual warning of what follows. Heavy rain, strong winds, sometimes even hail or lightning. The cloud is not dangerous on its own, but the storm trailing behind it certainly can be. Strong wind gusts, gust fronts. A shelf cloud forms at the leading edge of a thunderstorm, where cold air from the storm spreads outward. This can produce sudden, powerful wind gusts, strong enough to break branches, damage roofs, or affect vehicles. Gusnano. A shelf cloud reveals the storm's airflow and downdraft, and where this air meets the ground or collides with warmer air, small whirlwinds called gustnados can form. These gustnados often appear along this boundary, typically at the front or sides of the shelf cloud, where wind shear and rising or sinking air can set the atmosphere spinning. Heavy rain. The storm following the shelf cloud can bring intense rainfall. This may cause slippery roads, flooding, or reduced visibility while driving. Hail. Some thunderstorms behind a shelf cloud produce hail, ranging from small to dangerously large. Lightning. Shelf clouds often appear at the front of thunderstorms, increasing the risk of lightning strikes. Wind damage and turbulence for aircraft. The sudden upward and downward air currents near a shelf cloud can be hazardous for small aircraft or drones. The presence of a shelf cloud indicates that strong cold outflow is already occurring, which increases the likelihood of a downburst. In short, the shelf cloud itself is a warning sign of an approaching storm. It's wise to stay indoors secure vehicles or loose objects, and keep up to date with local weather warnings. Radar imagery can be used to identify shelf clouds. Radar imagery often shows a thin green line of weaker radar echoes indicating the gust front, which can be associated with the shelf cloud. Shelf clouds are often associated with a solid line of storms known as a squall line, which can be easily identified on radar. The gust front, which can be seen on radar, is the location where the shelf cloud forms. Shelf clouds are a visual indicator of an outflow boundary, which is a boundary between cooler, drier air and warmer, moister air. In essence, radar imagery can help meteorologists identify the conditions that lead to the formation of shelf clouds, particularly the gust front or squall line associated with the storm. A shelf cloud differs from a roll cloud because a roll cloud is completely detached from the base of the thunderstorm or other clouds. Roll clouds are relatively rare. A shelf cloud and a wall cloud are two completely different cloud formations, although both are often associated with severe thunderstorms. 
Wall cloud is a localized, low-hanging cloud at the rear side of a thunderstorm, usually beneath the mesocyclone of a supercell. It forms as warm, moist air is drawn into the storm and condenses. A wall cloud may show rotation and is therefore an important indicator of possible tornado development. In summary, shelf cloud, outflow of cold air, broad and arc-shaped, not linked to tornadoes. Wall cloud, inflow of warm air, localized and rotating, often a potential precursor to tornadoes. Shelf clouds can be seen all over the world, but they are especially common in summer months. For storm enthusiasts, they are one of the most photogenic cloud formations, dramatic, imposing, and always carrying an air of foreboding. They remind us that the atmosphere is constantly in motion, a battleground of warmth and cold, moisture and wind, power and beauty.